Hello and welcome back here to the channel for another driver spotlight, another ESDA 2021 car, a very Joker style paint scheme if I do say so myself. So we're going to be doing this S15 here for today's episode. We are at ESDA Daytona, so make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all which are found in the description box below. So when I say Joker-esque theme, it's the purple and the greens. Definitely a very aggressive style livery. I definitely love the purple taillights, the Energy Innovations logos, of course, Hexmod and all that on there. So this was brought by Kona O'Brien. He uh, gave me access to his 2021 ESDA S15. And this car is aggressive. It's over a thousand horsepower for purposes of running Daytona. I've bumped it down to about 60 boost pressure this car is crazy and if you know you know nrg being a sponsor of the channel for a very long time you can see all the nrg things on the driver's suit in the back panel on the back of the vehicle and everywhere so big you know thank you to him for allowing me access to his 2021 ESDA car a lot of people coming up with their new pro cars allowing giving me the chance to do these driver spotlights which i know you guys are actually loving and i love driving all these cars so we're going to go full send here at daytona road course of course we're going to bump this thing up to 100 percent boost at irwindale and go over the thousand horsepower which this car has so uh let's just go full send so something a little bit different for today's episode if you guys notice in the bottom right we do have my sim hub set up so you guys can actually see what gear i'm in and things of that nature which i don't know why i don't have her had up before so we gotta warm up these tires which i gotta get my tire you know, temperature up because these tires are completely cold. Like I said, we are at 60% boost for the purpose of running here at Daytona. And we gotta just try and heat up these Achilles radials on this car before we go into the first wall because I've done that before. If you guys remember, I did a another S15 here and that was a Vitana Manny's and I went hard into the wall so don't want to do that again you know these people are giving me access to their cars so once again a big thank you to them we're gonna run out of gas so we should probably get a run tires are not fully warm but full send anyways fourth gear throw kind of a not bad initiation out to the zone quick grab of the handbrake there throw angle a little bit over the yellow line didn't want to be there but kind of bringing it back towards the end would have punted that cone but uh for a first run out in this car i did take one lap just to see the power band and this car is insane with power so that's why we are down to about 60 percent for the purpose of this track and uh I'm impressed. Like I said, I do like the purple taillight tints and things of that nature. It's a very schemed car. It definitely looks amazing. Sounds great. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get another full pull here. Got dogs cheering me on in the background. Oh, I thought we were going to smack our winglet. But we managed to not smack the winglet. That's kind of where I wanted to be more, kind of on the yellow line. We would have taken out those cones, but we were kind of right there on the yellow line. It was going to drift a little wide. Dirty handbrake grab. Two tires off. That probably would have not have been a very good run, but we managed to not wreck the car. So, like I said, definitely like the scheme. It's matching my, you know, sim wheel from NRG Innovations with all the purple and neochrome going on on my setup. So we're going to go one more run here, and we probably will bump up the boost to 100 on this track before we head to Irwindale. What's here? Much harder flick than I anticipated. Oh, and there's the wall. I knew it was going to happen at least once. We're going to smack the wall. So let's bump it up to 100. And you can see the, the difference in just doing the burnout is insane there's gonna be a lot of clutch kicking and a lot of uh red line probably fifth gear red line maybe six let's go out one more attempt no hit oh we're already lighting them up oh you 
you can tell the difference in power that this car has when you pump it up to 100 percent and i'm not sure i can handle that thousand horsepower here on daytona course maybe not the best choice but the advantage of having adjustable boost is you can do that. So we're gonna go load up at Irwindale because I feel like this car needs to stretch its legs at Irwindale. So I'll meet you when we grid. So we're gonna go full send a thousand horsepower here on Irwindale. Big thank you to Kona O'Brien again for giving me access to his 2021 ESD AS15. I'm definitely enjoying driving all these. Leading up here to FD this weekend, super excited. Road Atlanta round one, all the liveries are starting to come out of the woodworks. So definitely excited to see all the new cars, all the new builds, all the new liveries, and definitely excited to see what the, you know, tail of the first round brings. I will be watching the course Friday and Saturday, and uh, definitely excited for FD weekends again. So we've got a big special driver spotlight for Friday. So make sure you guys come back to the channel tomorrow and Friday for some more driver spotlights with some other cars and uh, a big thing on Friday. So let's uh, full send, 1,000 horsepower, S15, probably fifth gear. Managing the bank and then starting to drift up a little bit. The car should have put more gas in this car. This car looks like we can run six. Oh, not off the bank. Oh, sorry. Sorry, dude. Kind of wrecked the car. We definitely need to uh, up our gas if we want to run more than two runs. So we're just going to coast our way back to the start line because, well, limited on fuel so we're gonna try six gear on the bank because it looks like this car can tackle six gear which is insane to me to think that this car can be six gear on the bank but one way to find out if you guys think it'll make it make sure you tap a like button on this video and do subscribe if you're not subscribed we would appreciate all the support Yep, we can rip six gear on the bank. Can't see where I'm going. But we're good. Downshift to fifth though on the inner bank. Kind of laxed on that transition, but a full pull nonetheless. On we can manage the bump. A full pull nonetheless in this 15, this 776 car. This is very, very challenging of a car with the power. The turbo lag is very pronounced, and that's something I'm not very familiar with driving. I've always driven cars that are very linear power, such as my HTC-Z, which is LS, and things of that nature. So, driving boosted cars is definitely something new to me that I'm getting more and more comfortable with. One more final send for this episode. high angle or try to at least if we don't run out of gas that transition was not as lax but we're not as close to the wall as I'd like to be massage it up a little bit about the second hash there so I hope you guys enjoyed these driver spotlight episodes leading up to FD round one Super excited for it. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of which are in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you come back for another one because we're on a fuel on this car. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back. I'll see you guys on the track.